Are you looking for a little extra edge over your competitors in your Oscar pool? <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. We thought so. We've got you covered. Welcome to The Cinephiles, a weekly show where we zoom in on the most buzzworthy news Hollywood and the indie scene has to offer. For this week's episode, we're covering a few of the major awards to give you a leg up on your Oscar competition. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. Number 3. The Actress Categories the first category we bring you might just be the biggest lock of the show. Well, I just couldn't tell. In the end, it was a battle between the on-screen moms in I, Tonya and Lady Bird. But come Sunday, Alice and Janney's take as the abusive mother of Tonya Harding is guaranteed to win her the golden statuette. I made you a champion, knowing you'd hate me for it. That's the sacrifice a mother makes. Janney has basically won every single major prize. Place your bets on her. You skated like a graceless bull dyke. I was embarrassed for you. It seems as if every Everything three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri touches turns to gold this award season, and that very well may be the case for its lead actress Frances McDormand at this year's Oscars. While Sally Hawkins' brilliant silent performance in The Shape of Water garnered the actress rave reviews, and Saoirse Ronan's honest and relatable take as a teen in Lady Bird both have a small chance at spoiling the fun for McDormand, it's not all war. The odds are just that, small. With wins at the BAFTAs, Golden Globes, and SAG Awards, McDormand will win. Are you sure about this? Number 2. The Actor Categories Mrs. Hayes, have a seat. What is it I can do for you today? Some cinephiles were shocked to see The Florida Project get so little love this award season. Get out of here. Bye! Willem Dafoe's motel manager managed to round up a number of supporting actor nominations, however, including one for this year's big show. But it's likely that a nomination is as far as he'll get, as Sam Rockwell's tremendous performance as a closed-minded racist, whose character puts him on a path to redemption, will earn the actor his first ever Academy Award. So I wanted to let you know sooner rather than later. The first will continue in the lead actor category when Gary Oldman's name is read from the envelope. The category did, however, see a refreshing injection of youth amongst the nominees, with Call Me By Your Name's Timothée Chalamet and Get Out's Daniel Kaluuya earning rave reviews for their performances. But in the end, a career best performance coupled with the Academy's love for historical dramas will be too much for the pair to handle. It'll go to Oldman's Winston Churchill in Darkest Hour. We shall never surrender! Before we get to our final pick, be sure to check out our other predictions. Number 1. Best Picture This one is completely up in the air. You know I can't give you the keys, right babe? The final award of the night is going to come down to three brilliant films, Get Out, The Shape of Water, and three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri. Ooh, then those motherfuckers better watch out, alright? Unlike the voting for the other categories, which tabulate the most first place votes, Best Picture employs a preferential voting system, which aims to award the movie with the broadest support. So basically, with second and third place votes being just as important, it's anyone's ball game. Why? How? Three Billboards is the favorite, landing major victories at the BAFTAs, Golden Globes, and most importantly, the Best Ensemble Cast Award at the SAG Awards. Important because no movie since 1995's Braveheart has won the Oscar without being nominated for Best Ensemble. Right there, that presumably knocks out The Shape of Water from contention. I do not fail. I deliver. This leaves us with Billboards and Get Out two films that intricately weave social commentary and race relations in America to stunning cinematic effect. By the way, I, I would have voted for Obama for a third term if I could. As painful as it is to only pick one winner, we have to go with three billboards here. Place your bets on it. Enjoy our entries? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.